and welcome back to Googie's Kitchen and if you are new here then hello and welcome. My name's Alexis and today I want to share with you how to make my delicious spicy chickpea flour wraps. As I just mentioned, today I'm going to be making my spicy chickpea flour wraps. In the previous video I did to this one, I made my plain chickpea flour wraps, but today I'm making my spicy ones, and I'm going to be having the rest of the tomato soup that I had yesterday for lunch, and I'm going to be having these spicy chickpea flour wraps to go with them as well, and these are delicious. I think these ones are my favourite ones, to be honest. And while I was making them, I thought that I'd share the recipe with you. So, here is how to make my spicy chickpea flour wraps. So, in my small bowl, I have about 60 grams of chickpea flour. Again, as in the last video, I said that I um, have halved the ingredients on this. So, in the original recipe, it would have 120 grams of chickpea flour, and that serves two. But as it's only me eating them today, I've halved all the ingredients. So, and in this bowl, I have uh, one teaspoon, uh, half a teaspoon, sorry, of baking powder, and I'm just going to mix that in to my chickpea flour. And now I'm going to add the spicy part. So in here I have um, half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. So I'm just going to put that in. And then I'm going to put in half a teaspoon of ground cinnamon as well. I love cinnamon. Such a great spice. Really good if you've got hormonal problems as well. Very good in fact. Um, and then I've also got half a teaspoon of mild chilli powder going in yep just about half a teaspoon i've nearly run out of that so i'll have to get some more and then i've also got half a teaspoon of brown ginger as well and then i'm just going to add a pinch of salt to that as well so i've got a pinch of salt here i'm just going to put in you don't have to use salt if you don't want to, I just like it, it gives it a bit of extra flavour and salt isn't that bad for you either. You do need a certain amount of salt in your body, so yes. Um, so as I said, I'm going to keep mixing these in now until everything is well mixed together and I think it is. So now I'm going to add in my milk, so I'm using oat milk, so these are vegan. Um, you can use any type of milk you like, or you could use water if you didn't want to use milk. And now I'm just going to mix everything together in this bowl until it forms, as I said in the last video, a pancake type mixture. And it's that pancake type mixture that you want to be able to make the wraps or pancakes, I should say, really. They are more like pancakes, but I just like to call them wraps. I don't know why. Just decided that. So yes, as you can see, it's a very gluey mixture. If you wanted to make a few more, you could always add a little bit more milk. Or if you don't like it that thick, then please add a little bit more milk. But I like them quite thick and stodgy, so I'm going to leave it like this. So yeah, that's all mixed together. And now I'm going to put a frying pan on a high heat, so I'll be won't be a moment just grab my frying pan and as I said I'm going to put this onto a high heat on the hob and then I'm going to add a bit of oil to the base of the pan and as in my last video I did say you do need a little bit more oil in these um, they I find that this pan makes them stick if I don't use a lot of oil so I'm just gonna add a bit more to that actually so you probably need a couple of teaspoons full so they are quite oily, but they are just really delicious, I have to say. And I think they're much better for you than a piece of bread as well. So now what I'm going to do is I'm just going to leave that to heat up. So my pan is getting nice and hot. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to just stir this again. And I'm going to add some of this to my pan, like so. And spread it around. I'm going to leave this to cook now and once it starts to cook around the outside that's when the bottom should go nice and golden brown 
and also the holes it starts to go into holes as you can see here I'm going to leave that a little while longer because it has only just gone in so so I didn't need to leave that for too long actually and it starts to go nice and golden brown on the bottom so I'm going to flip this over now like so as you can see the bottom is lovely and golden brown I'm just going to cook the other side now so I don't think this is taking too long to cook to be honest and the heat is quite high on this so I'm going to turn it down because I can see my pan is smoking so I'm just going to turn this down And I'm going to add a bit more oil to the base of that pan before I use the rest of the mixture. So if you were making this for four people, you could, if you wanted to, make two large ones or you could make four small ones. So you just quarter the mixture, basically. It's not going to make a very big pancake, I have to say, but I'm sure it will be delicious. There we go. Oh, it starts to cook quite quickly, this one. So I'm going to flip that over immediately. There you go. I think that's cooked as well. Yep, it is. So that is my pancakes done. So that's how you make my delicious spicy chickpea flour wraps and that recipe I will link in the description box below for you. I'm off to enjoy these with my soup now. So that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below. And please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye.